I would tell young ladies who are considering engineering or any science, really, find your passion, find what you like, find what's interesting to you, and figure out a way to work in that field. You do have to spend a lot of time at work, and you want to make sure that it's something you feel contributes. Uh, I was lucky enough working in human factors and ergonomics to do, be able to feel like I was saving people. Uh, there were times when I knew I was making a difference. People weren't getting hurt because of the thing, the changes that I was making to lines, to processes, and that's that's pretty satisfying. You think you're interested in pursuing something in the STEM lines. That's great. Follow what your passion is right now. It may change if you find something else that's even more interesting. Or if you find that what you're pursuing right now is disappointing. What it means is that you're learning more. You're learning more about yourself. That this isn't what's fulfilling. Let's find something else. Life is full of so many opportunities. We have several to choose from. And this is our first robotics speed team area. My family was known for participating in forensic speech competitions. My dad loved those forensic speech competitions. And he later told me it was just that I didn't want you to ever fear that your voice wasn't worth being heard. And if you can practice speaking, and when you really need to speak, you will. <laughs> if I could have done something different in my career, the thing I would have done was speak up for myself, especially around compensation. I always felt like I will earn it, and they will see it. But what I did discover is that the men were going into the office and saying, I want that job and thinking, I'll learn it when I get there. And the women were sitting in their office going, they're gonna see that I can do it and offer me that job. Have the confidence to say, I have most of the skills and I will learn the rest. I don't, I don't need to have everything before I make that job. It's very important that we as women do not allow what's going on around us keep us from continue to strive to be the best that we can be and to share what we know is a part of us. As long as you're asking questions, the answers are going to come, but you have to keep asking those questions. And your questions are as important as anybody else's questions. And there is no dumb question, there is no insignificant question. It came to you, right? So it's important for you to have that answer. We have so much to share. Be encouraged. All of us have something to contribute.